Greetings aviators, welcome back to the channel. This is Romeo Tango. Now, you guys are here for information about air traffic control. And I think the best place for us to start is to really have a look at exactly what air traffic control is. All right, the big question, what is air traffic control? Well, as it happens, I have a definition that I coined and it's basically instructions given to pilots by a ground-based unit in order to achieve a safe, orderly, and expeditious flow of aircraft. But what does that mean? Well, first of all, every instruction given to a pilot, every action by the pilot, every reaction by the pilot must be safe. Okay, we can't have a situation where you know pilots are doing things and you know they're 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 they're, they're afraid. Controllers are sweating bullets. No, everything that's said, everything that's done, must be safe. Okay, now everything that is done that is safe must be done in a particular sequence. Okay, and ordinarily near traffic control, we want uh. It, aircraft uh, to be handled in a first come first serve basis sometimes you have to deviate from that based on prevailing circumstances and conditions but in general things should be on a first come first serve basis that keeps things more orderly which is the point okay now the expeditious flow simply means that um whenever you are carrying on your safe on your orderly flow it must be with a minimum delay if you're having a lot of delays then you're not being very expeditious and of course eh, you're not being very efficient either okay but when did this all start you know that's that's another question now the first year traffic control tower was uh, actually built in this uh, small town a few miles, a few kilometers south of London in the United Kingdom uh, at Croydon Airport. Now, back in the day, Croydon Airport was the busiest airport on earth. Okay, flights down to Belgium, down to Paris, lots of flights going on. So, uh, things were getting sticky. And as it happens, one day, one aircraft taking off, one landing, oops, they collided. So the authorities said, you know what? Let's put some order to things, you know? Let's 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 regularize things. So the authorities they decided that they were going to build an aerodrome control tower. Yes, that's the name they actually gave it uh to uh the building in February 25th of 1920 when this thing was commissioned. Here we have it in the middle of our screen. And uh, part of the requirement was that this uh, tower would be 15 feet high. Contrast that today with control towers that are several hundred feet tall. But this was deemed adequate for uh, the air traffic back in February of 1920. Okay, and quite an interesting looking, uh, looking structure. They actually had uh, dimensions for the balcony and all of that. So, hmm, not too bad, pretty forward thinking. But let's get things, uh, uh, you know, a little bit clearer. That prior to February 25th, 1920, you know, pilots did talk to, you know, their ground-based counterparts um, to some degree. Uh, they would have talked to their company uh, via radio. Uh, you know, radio, of course, was at the time, you know, a novelty. It was a new technology. And prior to that, they used to communicate with the ground station uh, using uh, flag signals. And, you know, you had the guys out there on the airfield and, you know, they were waving these little flags around and they'd wave the flag in a, you know, in a particular way, you know, signals. And the pilot would know uh, what's going on on the ground. But, you know, technology improved, radios, and it was um, at this point that um the decision was made to regularize things that way but while we're on the topic of uh flagmen uh, one of the things i wanted to uh, touch on is what an air traffic controller is not 
Okay. And this, my dear people, is not an air traffic control. This is a marshaller. Okay, some pilots will call them wing walkers, and of course they do control to a certain extent in that they provide a pilot with uh, instruction on uh, when to stop when they're taxiing for parking, and they also uh, give the pilot some lateral information um, while um, being pushed back for departure and such like. Okay, so this guy, not a controller. Yes, now. We mentioned safe, orderly, expeditious flow of traffic, but let me ask a question. Does this look safe? Does this look orderly? Is this even an expeditious flow of, tr of, of aircraft? What's going on here? Now, my answer to that question is potentially. This could be very safe, very orderly, and very expeditious. Just depends on perspective. Now, let's delve in a little bit. Okay, let's say, for example, um, these airplanes were looked at from, you know, we're just looking out at the sky. Okay, would this be safe? Would this be orderly? Would this be expeditious? I would think so. Okay, so now we're looking at things from a different perspective. Okay, now let's look back at uh, a bird's eye view. But this time, let's put some more perspective to it, okay? Now, this is a type of scenario that you would see in an area control environment, which we will look at uh, a little bit later in another video when we start to talk about um, the different disciplines of air traffic control, and um, we'll see exactly how this ties in. But here we have aircraft, they're flying on routes. Yes, aircraft fly on routes, uh, almost like roads in the sky, like, like, like a car does on the ground. So this would be considered safe, orderly, and expeditious, would it not? Of course it would. Okay, looks safe, looks orderly, looks expeditious. Now, let's say, for example, we're still looking at a bird's eye view, but we see something like this, but we're going to add a runway. Okay, which means that this plane or these planes are coming into land. So here we have one there, second one's coming around nicely, turning for final. It's probably been clear to land at this point. Here we have two other aircraft coming in. Okay, that would certainly be safe looking, orderly looking, and expeditious looking. Perfect. Now, let's look at this from a, an, again from bird's eye view, um, but this time we're going to put some routing. Okay, and yes, once again, and this is what's called an arrival, a standard arrival route or a star. Okay, we look at that also when we uh, talk about the approach control environment, which this most certainly would be. Now, uh, even though the uh, unit is called an approach unit, they also do departures. In some jurisdictions, they split the two. There's approach and there's departure, but... Mm, most jurisdictions outside of the United States, for example, just call both of them approach. Okay, so here's an aircraft departing on what's called a SID or standard uh, departure, uh, standard uh, instrument departure, pardon. And here we have um, the, from at the aerodrome level, and here we have an aircraft that's pushing back. So these instructions would be given by the ground controller, which is one of the two uh, Aerodrome controls, which is another uh, one of the three disciplines. Okay, again, we'll look at that in another video. Okay, now to wrap up the three major disciplines of air traffic control. Now, I like to view aerodrome control as a game of pool. Okay, you know, you can go around, look at the table you know, make up your mind as to what happens next, so on and so forth. Takes a lot of strategy, takes a lot of skill, okay? But it's a different pace, and it's a different skill set, okay? And I contrast that with approach control, which is more like table tennis or ping pong, as our American friends like to call it, where it's a faster game, okay? There's less uh, time to plan and plot. This is more of a reactive type of discipline. The skill set required here is you know, more of what you you would 
envision when you talk about air traffic control where you know things are fast paced and you know things are going getting almost getting out of control and it looks like chaos but the controller is calm as a kitten yes indeed so the area control environment is more like chess more of a relaxed environment where you more or less plan ahead you plan two three moves ahead and again requires a lot of skill but just a different skill set now i've given you a basic uh, explanation of what air traffic control is but if that's not enough please let me know what you think in the comments below if you need a little more information but relax there's a lot more for us to talk about and we will be talking about these things in videos to come so if you like my style you need to know more by all means like comment share subscribe helps me to help you now stay with me we have a lot more lot more uh, videos to go through a lot more things to talk about a lot more things to see